Nuclear weapons have only ever been used twice in history, devastating the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. But what would happen in the event of a nuclear attack on the UK today? Drop a Hiroshima-sized device over central London and the first square mile is gone in an instant. Westminster, Whitehall, Buckingham Palace vaporised in a fireball hotter than the sun. Next comes the blast wave, a wall of air travelling faster than a hurricane. The West End flattened, glass shattered across Canary Wharf. Anyone in Camden or Hackney hit with burns from the thermal flash. Move to Manchester, ground zero at Piccadilly Gardens. The fireball consumes the city centre. Old Trafford, the Etihad, Media City, all in the severe damage zone. Radiation spreads miles downwind. Now transpose the attack onto Cardiff. A strike by the Principality Stadium levels the city centre, turning Cardiff Castle and St David's Hall to rubble. Fallout drifts along the Severn, contaminating everything in its path. During the Cold War, Britain planned for this with Exercise Square Leg, a simulated attack. The toll, 29 million dead. 7 million more seriously injured. One bomb isn't just an explosion. It's fire, shockwaves, radiation and fallout. A chain reaction that changes the whole country. So what if the worst ever did happen? Don't worry, there'll still be a Greg's open somewhere, I'm sure.